Hey, this is Sports Vibes TV. I'm your host, Keith Senwai, and I'm coming at you with another Giants video. In today's video, I'm going to be reviewing an ESPN article. Um, it's ranking the quarterback selected in the 2019 draft and where they are heading into this season. Daniel Jones is actually the second ranked quarterback behind Kyler Murray, but I'm not too focused on Kyler Murray. He's not our quarterback. So I'm just going to dive in and focus on Daniel Jones. He was the second quarterback off the board in 2019, and his QBR last year, I have the uh, website pulled up. His QBR last year was 53.6, which was middle of the pack. It was good enough for 18. And for a rookie quarterback, you can't be mad at that. He had, he did show some signs. And for him to be just below average in his first year says a lot. It's very hard to play quarterback. It's easily the hardest position in the game. And for him to come in in his first year and be middle of the road isn't terrible. You know, it's, it's only up from here, hopefully. So just to get into the article, Jones did most of his damage against man coverage last season, throwing 20 of his 24 touchdowns in that situation. That was actually a stat I didn't know at the top of my head. But what I'm going to be doing is I'm going to be starting a segment with my cousin who plays wide receiver in Georgetown. And we're going to be reviewing Giants film after every game. So if that's something you're interested in, make sure you subscribe and like the video. While he was inaccurate at times, he ranked ninth in QBR, 71.5, against man coverage among the 37 quarterbacks with at least 200 action plays. So that's good. So when he sees man, he's able to pick man coverage apart. So he just really has to focus now and dial in on getting better at reading zone coverages, which is understandable. Like I said, he's a young quarterback. This is only his second year, so that'll be something he can work on. Jones's 23 turnovers in 13 games included 11 lost fumbles, overshadowed what many consider a polished skill set for such a young player. Watch the way he, well, remember, the person that coached him in, at Duke is the same coach that works with the Mannings. So it's, uh, it's understandable to think that he would come in and already be pretty polished and know the fundamentals. He's been around, you know, those great uh, quarterbacks. Remember last year, Manning said he had Jones in a few camps. So there was already a relationship between the Mannings and the Jones. So Jones is. <laughs> so it makes sense for him to come in already, you know, looking like a skilled and more experienced quarterback. Uh, watch the way he handles the ball, his fakes, his play action. There's a lot of skill there, one NFC offensive coach said. And he's a tough dude. He had that rep coming out of college. If he takes care of the ball, he'll make a big jump. So, yeah, that's a common criticism for most people. He Turned the ball over way too many times last year, but they said he built some more muscle mass. So hopefully that'll help with the fumbles. And, you know, whoever helped Tiki back when he was fumbling in the early 2000s, they need to come work with Daniel Jones. High and tight or slide. Come on, something. All right. The truth is that the Giants offense didn't help Jones much. The line was subpar and his two elite players, Saquon Barkley and Evan Ingram, battled injuries. So, you know, both of those players right now coming into camp are healthy with Evan Ingram. Let's hope he stays healthy. And Saquon's a, a, a very important piece. You know, when he's back there, he helps, you know, dictate front and coverages. So that'll help Daniel Jones a lot. The fact that he has that weapon right behind him. You know, we could get some better receivers, but, you know, I may be asking for too much. But, but Jones still finished 18th in QBR at 53.6. Oh, whoopsie. Let me scroll back up. All right, next paragraph. General Manager Dave Gettleman addressed the line in the draft and a healthy nucleus of Barkley, Ingram, Sterling Shepard, Golden Tate, and Darius Slayton should give Jones a chance. One veteran NFL quarterback tried to call Jones sneaky athletic, which was meant as a compliment, but his 4.81 40 time and a 33 and a half inch vertical leap says he's simply athletic. So yeah, Gettleman did work on the offensive line. He drafted... Thomas. He drafted Pert. He drafted Lemieux. Um, he also brought in Fleming from Dallas, who, who kind of tagged along with Garrett. So we do have some pieces, even though they didn't mention we lost some pieces, even though we lost, you know, Solder. And we still don't have anybody at center. But I did make a video of somebody I think we can pick up and I'll make that little thing pop up at the top. However they do it, I'll figure it out. All right. Throws the ball well, really smart, big and tall, the quarterback says. Giants can work with that. So basically, 
they have Jones listed too. I would probably have him listed too as well. The only reason because Kyler Murray, he may have more pieces on the outside. Well, may. He's got two studs at, at wide receiver. He's got Hopkins and he's got Fitzgerald. So those two right there help elevate his play. Not only that, the fact that he's in the same system. So I can see why they list, they lift, uh, they put Kyler Murray above, you know, Jones. Jones is going to have to learn a new offense while working on what he struggled with last year. So he's going to have his, his, his work cut out for him. Whereas Kyler Murray just has to come, make sure he gets a better grasp of what he was already learning last year and just get, build a better rapport with his wide receivers. That's all Kyler Murray has to worry about. Daniel Jones, on the other hand, things are going to be a little bit more hectic and with not as much time to work with his receivers, it may be a little bit more of an uphill battle, and that's why he's listed at two. So once again, if you want more videos like this where I read ESPN subscription articles in relation to the Giants, just let me know in the comments. Hit the like button. That way I know you, know, you guys actually like this content. So once again, this is Sports Vibes TV. I'm the host, Keith. And I'm out. Uh -oh. Uh -oh. Uh -oh. Uh -oh.